This video is a quick review of the rectangular coordinate system. Let's begin by reviewing the rectangular coordinate system. So obviously we should be familiar with this already. Hopefully we all know there is an X axis, there is a Y axis, there are four quadrants. This is the first quadrant, and then it just goes in counterclockwise order and it is in Roman numerals. So one, two, three, four. And of course we know that the origin is right in the middle. The ordered pairs give us the X coordinate followed by the Y coordinate. So the origin is at point zero, zero. Let's make sure we know how to plot points because obviously that will be important moving forward. So if we're plotting points, the point four, three, would be four on the x-axis, so we would simply count one, two, three, four, and then three would be three on the y-axis, so one, two, three. So this would be my point, and most people do this pretty well, but what I do see some students do is instead of putting a point there, they'll put A there. So just remember that we are plotting a point. If your point happens to have a label, you just simply put the label to the right, left, up, down, wherever. So B is negative two, one, so that would be negative two on the X and positive one on the Y, so that's in the second quadrant. C is negative three, negative five. Again, we're going left and right first, up and down second. And of course, that's in the third quadrant. And D is three, negative four, so this is point D in the fourth quadrant. One application of being able to plot points is translating points on a plane. So in this case, we're asked to translate the given figure, which is obviously a triangle, up four units and to the right three units. So there's a couple of ways to think about doing this. Obviously, we can just look at the picture. We can say if the point starts at zero, zero, then I'm going to go one, two, three, four points up and one, two, three points to the right and that's where my new point is. So just for clarity, I'm going to call this A, B, and C. So this new point was the translation of point A, and in mathematics, we just call that A prime. Now, instead of just counting, I can also, of course, use mathematics. So four units up means the y-axis, remember these are x, y's, would be two and then four. So if I'm moving up four units, I would be adding four. And then to the right three units, right is the positive direction, so I would be adding three. So just make sure you add in the correct order. So again, this was point B. So my new point B should be at five comma eight. So five comma eight is right here, and that's B prime. And then, of course, the same thing for C. C is at 3, negative 2. I can either just count or, again, I can take 3 plus 3 and negative 2 plus 4, which would give me 6, 2. So 6, 2 would be right here, and that would be C prime. And, of course, then my new figure should look exactly like the other figure, just moved up and to the right.